Here we are at Lot 29, Westwood Bay. Uh, as you can see, we're on a cul-de-sac, which is certainly nice. I love cul-de-sac properties. And this lot, in essence, is a point-type lot. Comes back into a cove, but then, as you'll see, as we get out to the building site, goes on out to the point. They do have a dock in place uh, on really good deep water. Nice view, great location. Again, Westwood, this is a Crescent community, as you already know. And as you'll see, around to the side, you've got three, four beautiful homes uh, that adjoin this particular property. So, very nice houses. And one thing about this lot as well is this going to give you some privacy because if you look here um, on the left side of the lot, we've got kind of a ravine, looks like a uh, type of spring head you know, area down below, so there won't be anything built real close to you on the left side, which I think is, again, a, a feature. So uh, let's head on into the middle of the lot, take a look. You've got nice hardwood trees, as you can see behind me, and uh, we'll show you the dock and where I think you should build the house. I'm going to tell you, you could not ask for a lot to lay any better than this one. And again, the way it's positioned, um, you know, really, if you look back to the left, you can see the house up on the hill. Again, you've got the uh, lower area there. So again, it's going to provide ample privacy from that side. And because this lot is a point that comes on out, and by the way, it's got over 300 feet of waterfront beginning in the cove all the way around. You can see the dock over here to my right. So plenty of waterfront. Um, what I like about this lot, you're not out on the main, main lake, but yet you have long view. You've got a nice island over here to kind of break up, you know, the, the view a little bit. I like that. It's never going to be developed. Um, great build site. If you wanted to put in a, a basement here, you've got enough slope to do that. But uh, a builder's dream. Let's get a little bit closer down to the dock, check that out, look back up at the property from the water, and go from there. Great shot back up to the build site, and it's just real easy on a property like this to envision a beautiful house sitting up there. As you can see, the shoreline has already been rip-wrapped all the way around. Um, I mean, you had to look at just the, the expense of rip-wrapping 300 plus feet of shoreline you're probably talking about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars minimum. You've got an ironwood dock here, in very good condition. That's another twenty thousand dollar expenditure. So you got, you know, forty plus thousand uh, dollars just in upgrades on this property. And again, great location, great view. Get out to the main lake. You just would follow that boat that just went back to the left. That'll take you out around the corner. Um, under a bridge and then you're heading straight over to the heat tiki hut so you're probably not but about a 10 minute drive depending on what you're driving but if it's a pontoon boat over to the tiki hut or the restaurant um, and from this location you're less than 10 minutes to the hospital so if you got interested in this property give us a call 800-682-9098 uh, we'll leave you with that now enjoy the aerial views uh, from the property